How's it going everybody? It's Pilot Family. We are back with another FPL video and today we're going to be taking a look at the best captaincy options for game week 13. Sadio Mane is smiling over my shoulder because he knows that Liverpool score a lot of goals which means a lot of FPL points for our FPL teams and Liverpool are flying at the moment and they have another great fixture to come up in game week 13 and we'll take a look at another team that could potentially have some captaincy options in it as well as some differential picks as we normally do. If you haven't done so already, make sure to hit that like button so Subscribe channel if you're new or haven't done so already. It greatly helps out the channel as well as turn those notification bells on so that you can get the content as soon as it is readily available. Also, drop us a follow over on Twitter so you can keep up to date with any and all FPL news from price changes to injury news and anything in between. And lastly, make sure to give us a follow over on Twitch so you can see when we go live for our preview and deadline streams. We'll be doing a deadline stream as per normal this week on Saturday, one hour before the FPL deadline. We leave a pinned comment down below to let you know when that is going to be as well. So without further ado, let's talk about our partners for this video with Manscaped. This video is brought to you by Manscaped, the best in men's below the waist grooming. Manscaped offers precision engineered tools for your family jewels. Manscaped have just launched their fourth generation trimmer, the Lawnmower 4.0, alongside their Performance Package 4.0, which also includes the Weed Whacker Hair and Nose Trimmer for those pesky little hairs that are getting out of hand, the Crop Preserver for anti-chafing to make sure that you are as relaxed at all times, the Crop Reviver for maximum conditioning and toning to make sure your jewels are as buff as possible, disposable shaving mats, as well as the Premier Travel Bag for your on-the-go grooming, and lastly, the Anti-Chafing Boxers, which I can personally say are extremely comfortable and keep you cool under the highest amount of pressure. What I found the most impressive is that the Lawnmower 4.0 features ceramic cutting edge blades to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology so you can now have that added security when venturing into uncharted territories. The upgraded trimmer also includes a multifunction on and off switch that can engage a travel lock and also when you are venturing into those uncharted the territories it has the ability for a led a 400k led a very strong light that you can switch on and off so you can get that more precise shape so make sure to join over 4 million men who trust in manscape with this exclusive offer 20 percent off and free worldwide shipping using the code flame 20 at manscape.com that's 20 percent off with free shipping at manscape.com using the code flame 20 unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job with manscaped so the obvious captaincy fixture this week is Liverpool at home to Southampton. Now, it's mainly due to the fact that Liverpool just continue to score goal after goal after goal after goal. And they have so many good players in their team at the moment that are firing on all cylinders. It has nothing to do with their opposition who, if we look at the stats just above me here, the last four game weeks, uh, Southampton already conceded two big chances, uh, which is very, very good. Although the opposition that they have faced has been quite easy and nothing like what they would be facing this weekend versus Liverpool but Southampton on the day can frustrate and I do remember there was a point during the season last year when Liverpool did have a few injuries and whatnot where Southampton managed to nick a 1-0 win over Liverpool and it was a uh, you know, Hassan Hoodle was on the sideline, like fist pumping and, and was a bit, a bit emotional as well. So maybe he can pull it off. I don't see it personally happening. And I think that this is the best picture to captain somebody in. So we've got the usual candidates here. We've got Diego Jota, Sadio Mane, and Mo Salah. I think Trent Alexander-Arnold is possibly also a very good captaincy shout as well. If you think that Liverpool are going to keep a clean sheet, that is something that they can definitely do with Trent's attacking ability. I think that he is definitely always available for an assist. If he gets an assist and keeps a clean sheet, usually he's on three bonus guaranteed. Uh, with Mo Salah, four goals, three assists in the last four game weeks, as well as Mane, two goals, one assist, went back up to his original price of 12 million. Uh, eight shots inside the box, so doing very well there. Diogo Jota, two goals and an assist, got himself a goal as well. Off a mistake uh, that Arsenal made at the back with Tavares. 7.5 million. There's still an injury doubt over him, so I wouldn't jump on him right away. I would wait for Jurgen Klopp's press conference. And even possibly, I wouldn't say this is a captaincy shout, but maybe a differential is Takumi Minamino at 5.1 million. Could be a very good shout to start uh, this weekend if Jota is not available. I think Divock Origi also picked up a knock 
over the international break, so I'm not sure what his uh, availability is going to be like for this game as well. But the usual candidates, you know, Salah, Mane, if you don't have Salah, and went a little bit differential. I just can't see Salah not returning in this game again. I think Liverpool will be good for a couple of goals in this one. I think I predicted uh, a 2 or 3 nil, if I remember correctly, on the preview. And yeah, I just think Liverpool are just firing on all cylinders at the moment. If they score first, it could be a rout, which is the dangerous thing with Salah's ownership uh, at the moment. Effective ownership, that is. It's just when Liverpool score one, they typically score two or three. And I think they're the only team uh, this season that's averaging basically like around two goals a game for them, which is like ridiculous because they just like every time they play someone and they scored five versus United, four versus Arsenal. They scored uh, five versus Norwich, I think it was. They scored, they won three nil the other day as well. They've been battering teams in Europe as well. They're just doing really, really well at the moment. And I backed them to score against anyone. And if it's most likely going to be anybody in Liverpool's team that is probably Mo Salah so I think the armband is going to be on him for me this weekend as well but that's not going to let you uh kind of deter you from any differential picks I'm going to take a look at a few of the Spurs players as they host or are not hosting they are going to Burnley uh this weekend and hopefully Son and Kane can be back on the score sheet because they're in a bit of a drought at the moment and maybe gaming 13 is where they come alight and get some returns now, if you're looking at these stats, they aren't looking great, but it's the eye test in the opposition that you might need to pay attention to. Burnley all across the season are third worst for XG conceded with 20.09. They've conceded just shy of XG-wise seven goals over the last four game weeks with 11 big chances conceded. That's around three big chances a game. They are much more attacking than what they were of seasons gone by. Sean Dyche has implemented kind of a big man, small man in their 4-4-2 system with Cornet and Wood and look to be a lot more threatening on the break because Cornet is very, very quick. And they look to get the ball to Wood to knock it down for Cornet to run in behind. That is a very good system that they didn't have before. So different dynamic to Burnley, but they are a little bit more open at the back as they are more willing to step out from defense and look to attack teams. And their game last week in a 3-3 absolute goal fest uh, was very very interesting uh, to watch as well so at home they are typically a little bit more defensively solid but I think with Spurs Conte's system should be able to manage the 4-4-2 he probably would have came up against a lot of that uh, in Italy as well or teams that were defending in a 4-4-2 like low block style of system with his 3-4-3 or 3-5-2 whichever he chose to play uh, when he was managing Inter Milan. So I think he should be well prepared for this one. I think probably the main candidates are as usual. Reguilón got himself a goal. Very fortunate, came off the post, but he was in the right place at the right time. He does get a few shots. If, he, if he, you know him and Royale look up a little bit more often, they would be getting more attacking returns assist-wise because they just need to start gelling with their teammates. I think Royale probably looks the more threatening, but Reguilón seems to be a bit more uh, kind of open for shots, which... Do you want the assister? Do you want the goal scorer type of thing? And I do think you will probably see before the season's out a Reguillon cut across the box to an open tap in for Royale at the back post or vice versa. I think that'll probably happen once, maybe more in this season. The two talisman, Son and Kane, 10.4 million on Son. 12.2 million on Kane if I had to pick one right now I would personally pick Kane I think Son is not getting very many shots he's not getting involved in much in, you know in the box as much as I would have liked or would have liked to have seen especially against a Leeds team that is typically quite open mind you they have been a lot better defensively in recent weeks but I think Kane was a lot more active in the box which is what you want to see he was getting shots away as well and I think that getting shots off in the box is very good for Kane because he will find spaces and he is able to shoot with a very quick release so basically what that means is when he receives the ball it's much less time when Kane's on form to when he decides he's going to take the shot and when the ball actually comes off his foot whereas normally when Kane's struggling he kind of lumbers he labors he kind of looks a bit sluggish takes forever to kind of make a decision but when Kane's on form which it seems like he was a lot better uh this weekend although he didn't get himself an attacking return 
I think that he could potentially get something in this one as well. So I think Kane, if you have to pick between the two, him and him or Son, I think Kane's the one to go for. And it's also an easy swap to Ronaldo as well. It makes it a little bit easier uh, come game week 15, 16, when United's fixtures get really good. Game week 16, I believe, is when United go to Norwich, which could be a very good captaincy shout for Ronaldo if Salah has potentially cooled down by then. But this would definitely be a differential shout in it in the sense I think it's probably the next best fixture uh, on paper uh, and I think if you're brave you could potentially go for one of the Spurs assets to get you some returns uh, this weekend but let's take a look at some more differential picks I've gone with a couple of defenders because we need to start looking at these fullbacks they're getting a crazy amount of points and one striker that is going to be playing versus Norwich this weekend that just recently scored and is slowly ticking along and maybe potentially going on in the radar as a captaincy show Fullbacks, fullbacks, fullbacks. That seems to be the name of the game this season. I've had Reese James, Ben Showell, Trent Alexander Arnold, and Jao Cancelo since my game week eight wildcard, and they've got me some ridiculous points. Now, I know Ben Showell picked up an injury tonight. It did not look good, to be honest, although he was able to stand up and hobble off, uh, which is. I guess a okay sign might not be fit for this weekend, but it still shows what type of attacking stats fullbacks are getting, uh, at least the ones that are doing well at the moment. Uh, you know, Chilwell, one goal, one assist. He had a game of, of three goals in a row in the Premier League, four if you include his England duty as well. Reese James, three goals, two assists, just absolutely crazy. He scored again tonight as well in the 4 0 drumming of Juventus. They made them look like they were just some average team and they are up against manchester united they're also at home at stanford bridge united's defense hasn't been great 8.13 xg conceded averaging two goals xg conceded per game not ideal and three big chances per game chelsea could rip united to absolute shreds if they aren't as disciplined as what they were in the first half versus villarreal although villarreal are struggling themselves they were 16th place uh, going into tonight for La Liga and uh, they didn't look like they had anything going for them in the final third couple of good saves for David De Gea though one very notable save but I think Chelsea will create way more than that so United are going to have to be dotting their I's and crossing their T's and making sure that they are on point because otherwise Chelsea are going to rip them to bits and I think Reese James with potentially a fully fit Romelu Lukaku back in the team could pose some serious problems for the center backs as United haven't been the greatest on set pieces which Chelsea again scored with Chalabar tonight as well and have been scoring set pieces uh, at will. Uh, I think that's the 15th goal they've scored this season tonight that Chalabar scored from a defender, uh, which is just it's just an, an insane stat. So Chelsea could be a good differential shout uh, as well. Although I do think United may be good for a goal. I think I predicted a 2-0, uh, but maybe United gets something um you know, get a goal in that one. Maybe it's KG. Maybe the new manager bounce, quote unquote, even though Carrick was already in the coaching system. Maybe they go and they shock Chelsea. It is definitely possible and it wouldn't be unheard of in the realm of football. And then lastly, Raul Jimenez, he goes to Norwich. He's got two goals and assists in the last four game weeks, six shots. He's not getting very many, but when he does get a shot, it's usually on target and it's usually potentially has a very good chance of going in the back of the net. 1.55 XGI. That's the Raul Jimenez of old, uh, you know, very good and very clinical when it comes to getting the fair and few chances that he would get playing under Nuno Espirito Santos Wolves system in the 3-4-3 I think he could be you know a very very differential captaincy shout he does play Norwich maybe they do quite well but Dean Smith may be making Norwich uh, getting themselves out of the relegation zone we will have to see I personally have Jimenez in my team will I be captaining him this week no but I think I might hand him the vice uh, which would definitely be uh, something to keep an eye on if you want someone that's very very out there as a differential captain C shot but let me know what you think down in the comments below which captain are you going for are you just going to keep it simple and just go with Salah are you going to go to something a bit more exciting that potentially I haven't mentioned in this video and could be getting yourself some massive massive points for Game Week 13. So if you haven't heard about Fantasy Football Scout, they have a fantastic members area during the regular season. It's £25 for the membership, and that lasts the entire year. And during the off-season, they give a 20% discount. But if you have missed that discount, fear not. You can still get the membership for £25, and it's fantastic. You can see the membership area just behind me. You have a bunch of different stats that you can use powered by OptiStats and create your own custom tables. You have the Rate My Team tool. You have the Season ticker player comparison tools a whole 
array of things that you can use to help elevate your FPL game. So use the link down in the description below so that you can get access to these exclusive, exclusive tools to help elevate your FPL game. Sign up now. And that is going to do it for this edition, the Gaming 13 edition of Captain C Picks. If you haven't done so already, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe channel if you're new or haven't done so already. It greatly helps out the channel and turn those notification bells on so that you can get the content as soon as it's readily available. Don't follow over on Twitter so you can keep up to date with any and all FPL news from price changes to injury news and anything in between. As well as give us a follow over on Twitch so you can join us live for our preview and deadline streams as per normal. We'll be doing a deadline stream this Saturday, one hour before the FPL deadline. There's a pinned comment down below on every YouTube video to let you know when those streams are going to be. And lastly, take the opportunity to get involved in the Fantasy Football Scout members area using the link down in the description. It's going to help elevate your FPL game and use the code flame 20 at checkout so that you can get 20 percent off and free worldwide shipping on your manscaped order as well thank you all for watching and until the next one take care